Okay, so tell me Dave, I know you're going through a lot, you got a lot on your mind. Tell me what started this? What got you to this point where you felt that this, this is something you wanted to do for yourself? Well, at first we got, when I was diagnosed, they said, oh, don't worry, you won't lose your hair because of the radiation. If I was ever going bald, I'd shave my head because I just think that was kind of a cool way to go. So Bethany and I talked about it and I said, yeah, you know, I think I'd like to shave my head. And, and uh, Bethany said, well, I'll do it too. And, um, you know, sometimes things are just meant to be. And when, when she said that, and we started talking about it a little bit, it wasn't more than, I don't know, less than a day later, I think, she looked. She was looking through some stuff online and found that uh, uh, St. Baldrick's raises money for kids who have cancer and to do research to fight childhood cancer by getting people to shave their heads and pledge certain amounts of money. So we thought, oh, that's really cool. And then, I don't know, there were a, several other things that just kind of seemed to fall into place. And um, that's kind of how we got here. Yeah, I think talk to me a little bit how you're feeling about this whole thing. I know for you, it's a little, it's well, a little different. It is. It's. I think it is more dramatic and takes a little more uh, consideration and courage, probably, for a woman to do it. Certainly, someone middle aged like I am. You know that <laughs> because there's, who has nice hair. <laughs> there's, um, you know, it's it's pretty radical. We're in a youth-obsessed, beauty-obsessed society, and um, although there are a lot of young women who are doing this, um, I think, in a very fierce and beautiful way, um, it's, a, it's it's I've had to think long and hard about it. <laughs> you know, I volunteered it up with Dave. You know, pretty quickly, he has cancer. You know, and. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> yeah. And then I've been back and forth about that for a while. But then um, found out a lot more about St. Baldrick's and certainly about the incredible number of children with um, cancer. And you just think, how could I not? And I think that's all part of the process. I mean, that's have it, it's, it's all so courage based, you know, have the courage to ask. And these children, the amount of courage they have to have to do what they do. I mean, you, you listen to the stories of the moms of two of the organizers for Placerville, the event that we're participating in, um, have both lost children. And on top of that loss is the pain and suffering for months and years until that moment. It's a twofold reason for us. It's to raise money for a really beautiful cause. And it's also, um, connection between Dave and I in terms of his process and his journey through cancer and how we're going to share that as much as possible. And what it will do for us is bring us closer. So I think my biggest fear is not about shaving my head in the aftermath of that. The biggest fear is um, what cancer treatment does to people. Um, if you survive a cancer, you know, quite often your quality of life is not awesome. And that's one of the things we're, we're learning and we see in the stories of the children is, y yes, you've survived cancer and it's amazing and it's a gift. And the reality of your quality of life and what that treatment has done to you in order for you to live, um, that's what going bald is going to remind me of. Hmm. And all the more reason to do it. It's been, been really an interesting experience. You know, I think my first reaction was I was really pissed off. I mean, it was just a grand inconvenience. That's what I kept telling Bethany. It's just such a grand inconvenience, you know. Um, we just moved down here, or we're just getting ready to move down here when I found out. And, you know, it's just, like, sucked. It was like, geez, it's just the timing's just not good. And, and again, the timing is never really good. But, um, you know, it's been, um, it's been interesting. It does change your attitude about life. I mean, it just, it just does. I. I think for some people it changes their attitude in a bad way, and in others it changes their attitude in a good way. You know, I would just ask that people really think about donating to the cause, whether they donate to Bethany's account or my account or somebody else's account. Uh, the St. Baldrick's group has done a lot of really great work. 
This is about the symbolism of in sickness and in health. And when whatever is happening for each of us, we are there together in it as much as possible. And I can't, I can't do the treatments for you. you know? Yeah, of course. And if I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is what I can do.